Ah, the conveniences, entertainments, busy lifestyle, and even foods of our postmodern society. The more advanced we become, the less we have to do on our own, and the fewer avenues we strive to follow in caring for our body the way it was meant to be cared for. Inactivity, unbalanced diets, and erratic schedules are just the beginning. For some, this is the very definition of the good life. However, the human body was not designed for a life of inactivity or to digest foods rich in fats, poor in essential nutrients, and at odd times. There are many maladies today affecting the health of our digestive systems that were not quite so common several decades ago. From Crohn's disease to IBS or irritable bowel syndrome, there are health issues that are relatively new to the human biological system that are impacting the lives of millions of Americans. Our busy lifestyles today um, lead us to mistreat our digestive system in a variety of ways. Uh, we frequently uh, eat fast foods on the fly that are not uh, well balanced and devoid of fiber. Uh, we many times eat at um, irregular intervals, which our digestive system is not designed to handle well. Uh, and that uh, usually would lead to, to disturbances in the motility pattern of the small intestine and allows bacteria to grow there where it shouldn't be, leading to all the symptoms that drive patients to come and see us. Diets low in fiber, not enough exercise, too many processed foods with a lot of fat, stress, certain prescription medicines, and even non-prescription supplements and herbals with heavy metals that some of us substitute for an otherwise healthy diet are all things known to affect our intestinal and colon health. Recent scientific studies have demonstrated that more than half uh, of IBS patients will benefit from a short course of antibiotic therapy. But given the large number uh, of patients with IBS, physicians are generally reluctant in treating all comers with antibiotics, uh, especially given the uh, drawbacks of disseminated use of antibiotics in the community. Uh, over the past uh, two decades, uh, we, amongst others, have used hydrogen methane breath testing to identify patients with a true bacterial overgrowth who would benefit from antibiotics. And we have many examples of patients who went through this uh, and were diagnosed, and their devastating IBS was relieved uh, with a course of antibiotics. Irritable bowel syndrome, or IBS, is exceedingly common in the Western Hemisphere, and especially in the United States. Recent studies implicate small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, or SIBO, as the root cause of IBS and many digestive system disorders. The challenge at hand was to develop a non-invasive test to properly diagnose SIBO so that proper treatment can begin as soon as possible to improve the quality of life. Established in Milwaukee, Quintron Instrument Company many years ago developed a painless and easy to use breath analyzer capable of detecting certain gases in exhaled breath to help identify the presence of small intestinal bacterial overgrowth and other malabsorptive gastrointestinal disorders. The breath tracker is a digital uh, modified gas chromatograph which measures trace gases in parts per million in patients breath to determine um, what types of maladies they may have like lactose intolerance or fructose intolerance um, and now uh, coming more to the light in the gastroenterology field small bowel bacterial overgrowth also known as small intestinal bacterial overgrowth and depending on the different substrates like sugars that we give to the patients the trace gas profiles which are basically just the patterns of gas that come out in your breath and the levels that they reach will help determine um, if there's a particular issue going on in your belly Today, breath tests are invaluable in helping to evaluate functional bloating, diarrhea, constipation, and suspected malabsorptions such as lactose, sucrose, or fructose. These tests are simple, safe, and more accurate alternatives to more invasive procedures such as biopsies and or obtaining intestinal aspirates for culturing. What's nice about the breath test is you can do it at home, totally, completely private, so if you don't feel well, you can take care of things on your own. You don't have to deal with sitting in an office for hours, feeling uncomfortable and being around other people. It's completely private and non-invasive. Hydrogen methane breath testing 
is emerging as a valuable tool to aid physicians with the diagnosis and understanding of SIBO in a variety of disorders afflicting the human body. The time-proven standard for this testing is Quintron's Breath Tracker instrument, which measures both hydrogen and methane and corrects each sample for any potential collection errors through measuring expired carbon dioxide as well. The Breath Tracker series was developed about three years ago uh, to bring together all the technologies and the best that we know about breath testing uh, to improve the speed, accuracy, and ease of use for the technicians and the patients. To find out more about Quintron or the Breath Tracker Analyzer, visit them online at www.mybreathtestkit.com, www.quintron-usa.com, or call 1-800-542-4448.